Joe Burrow, Athens resident, national champion, first overall pick, and Heisman Trophy winner. But during his speech, he helped raise $350,000 for the Athens Food Pantry and has continued that effort, creating a program with the pantry that will continue on for the next few years. We chose the, um, the FAO fund because there were matching funds that came through the state of Ohio. So every dollar that we put into the fund was matched. So our $350,000 thousand dollar investment um, immediately turned into a seven hundred thousand dollar endowment fund and that will be used either for operations depending on what our budget is at that particular time or we can use that for special projects that we might be looking into doing we have added a commercial refrigerator so that we can have more fresh produce and other dairy products. We have actually reached out to some other pantries and helped them with some things that they're doing. Um, we were very concerned with kids in school in the spring and how you know, kids were gonna be fed. And this is when we were still trying to figure out where they're gonna be able to deliver the meals to kids who got free and reduced lunches and breakfast. SNAP is the, really the first line of defense against hunger and food insecurity and, and always has been and always will be. Um, so. We, we're strong advocates for it. There are also SNAP benefits for school-aged kids who are not able to be in school, so they're getting um, monthly cards on that. And the USDA has really opened up a lot of um, options in terms of ways people can be fed. Joe Burrow, being an Athens County resident, understands what it feels like to grow up in a food insecure community. This program helps kids growing up in this area not have to go through exactly what Joe Burrow did. Joe Burrow giving back to his community is another idea of how great and how good of a leader Joe Burrow truly is. To Joe Burrow for the, the words that he shared and not just for our pantry, not just for what we do, but for across the country, because I think it has really opened some people's eyes as to how widespread this problem is.